To sum up, what we can say here is that once you connect the Caribou light over the Raspberry Pi computer, it identifies it and um, searches for the right uh, modules to run and to load. And uh, when the Raspberry Pi is on, you can be sure that all the drivers are on and that you can talk with the Caribou light. Um, um, so uh, there is no not much to do with all this information just to start work with Caribou light uh, as if it was a part of the Raspberry Pi. So now let's have a small video about a demonstration for a uh, simple receiver a RF uh, a FM radio receiver over this uh, this channel, this 6 GHz channel, we will use uh, SDR++ as the software, which is a great software that runs really well on Raspberry Pi uh, and uh, interfaces Caribou Light through SOAP API uh, other APIs will come soon but currently we are talking about SOAP API let's sudo SDR++ the sudo part we will explain it later uh, here we see the, the connection to the board some uh, log file, uh, log, uh, inf logging information from SDR++ uh, ok we don't have LADRF and SDR Play modules in this system uh, there are great software, great hardware, but we don't have them. But we got here SOAP SDR. And so in, within the software SDR, we have the Caribou Light Session uh, and SMI and all these things. You can uh, go over it uh, by yourself, and uh, you can also uh, mute this uh, verbosity if you need. So let's start with OK. We are uh, listening to 868, that's not FM radio, but we can still see here some interesting signals that most probably contain information. Let's go to, uh, to the, what we want is Uh, the radio signal so we don't need here AGC and we certainly don't need a uh, so much gain signal is really good and the antenna is matched uh, a little bit about this uh, stuff here so here we see that the source is a SOAP SDR source uh, it's a caribou light this is the uh, this is the serial number uh, we have here the AGC uh, the bandwidths, we can change the bandwidths okay, of the receiver. And you can go uh, down to 200 kilohertz in this bandwidth, and then you can do also uh, a, a, a digital filter if you want. A IQ correction, it's just a DC a bias correction of the IQ uh, signals uh, by SDR. So uh, that's it, I think. Okay, let's let's listen to some music. So So we are currently streaming this uh, this screen through VNC to uh, to the uh, to the PC so the Raspberry Pi is struggling. Uh, but it actually works uh, and we listen to ah, oh, we are not tuned so uh, we are listening to 88.5 which is a great radio station in Israel um, let's go and listen to something else let's go to other channel let's go down to other frequencies if you want or we can also go to 88.5 without the AGC we don't need it I think uh, and we can
can also go to other frequencies but you get the point uh, one point one thing about the receiver uh, over here uh, first you see here this LED this LED is lit uh, it means that uh, the RX uh, from this channel is on and if you transmit with it you will have a TX on this channel so uh, once I stop the stream the LED goes off the second thing to understand here is that this uh, this uh, caribou light is not calibrated uh, the one that you will get for supply um, uh, uh, campaign you will get a revision 2.5 which is calibrated by the CM and we are going to calibrate ourselves this uh, caribou light uh, and we see the results in the next tutorials so we'll see how also the uh, Raspberry Pi with, uh, with Python interface works uh, okay so thanks for uh, watching and see you soon